this is the vlog for March 30th, or March 21st and I'm pissed so here's what happened um, my buddy Frank who does the streaming wanted to do uh, Monster Hunter World tonight with Devil Joe because he, he released tonight for America because it's already tomorrow in Japan so I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting for Frank to get home he finally gets home way after he usually wants to start the stream which is 8 o'clock the download for the update for him takes forever because I don't think he had his PS4 in sleep mode during the day. We, and in the meantime, I joined a party with four other people. Most of them guys I know from work. And they're BSing back and forth. And another person joins and somebody who's all the way across the country I haven't talked to in forever joins. And they're all doing it and I'm trying to save myself the experience so I do it for the first time with Frank that just doesn't happen Frank joins a group of three other guys I'm left hanging with uh, another friend Kelsey we go and find our own Devil Joe in a mission we fight it and capture it in a battle that takes 45 minutes which most 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 of the time a, a mission of Monster Hunter should take about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes ideally there are some quests with a ten time limit of 15 minutes, so you have to do it under 15 minutes, which is not impossible. That was what the time limit in the, in the beta was, and it was utterly doable. It was a little bit tricky sometimes, but most of the time you had no trouble. Anyway, I just feel like I wasted my whole evening, you know, just waiting. You know, I like to say sometimes that hell is other people. And really, it's the, the problem is when you've got to count on people, I find so often that they're going to let you down. And I know that's negative, and I know I should be more forgiving of people, but it was the ribbing that I had to endure from all these guys. Everybody's a gamer. Everybody's got to talk up their own game. I talked up my own game jokingly and said it was the best Monster Hunter, world, Monster Hunter player in the world. They have not let me forget it. I meant it as a throwaway joke, and it's been mentioned like every goddamn time we play together. I'm wondering if I'm even going to bother helping with the stream from now on. Because, like, I thought it was going to be, there were going to be about four of us regulars. Kelsey, me, Frank, and then, like, Craig or Kelsey's boyfriend or whatever. And now it's just like a gaggle of retards. And I admit, the whole thing that appealed to streaming to me was hearing my voice in a recorded video bullshitting with these guys because I find myself funny. Yes, I am that egotistical. And if I'm not going to get that, I just, I don't know what the point is. And Frank, God, I've been trying to help him out. I've been trying to do hunts with him and make his, like, content more interesting. But now he's harping on me because he found out I have an Amazon Prime account. He's trying to get me to sign up on that. I don't use Amazon Prime to sign up for streams. I use it to pay for shipping on the many, many action figures that I order. <sighs> so this evening has just been... Feels a little wasted. I at least had fun with Kelsey. Kelsey's a lot more fun to mess around with than a lot of the rest of those guys. Talking so much smack. The good news is, um, my constant observation of the weather for whether or not I'm going to be able to enjoy a long walk on the weekend suggests that instead of snow now, we are hopefully going to have a partly sunny weekend with highs in the low to mid 50s. So it's going to be a little bit cool, but perhaps more importantly, Easter weekend, April 1st. March 31st, April 1st, looks like it could be 60 degree weather. It could be really sunny, uh, or at the very least, nice and warm, which is nice. My sister's coming up that weekend, and she's going to be here for, well, she's actually coming up a week. She's actually coming up Monday, I should say. She's coming up Monday, and then she'll be here for the weekend of Easter. And the weather all next week looks like it's going to be really good, too. So... Silver linings. And I, I know I, should, I shouldn't I should let people have this effect on me. But it is easier for me to entertain myself 
and to be given a um, microphone and a camera that are my own that I can do with whatever I want than to have to share the spotlight with a bunch of other people. And I think one of the things that frustrates me is that Frank wants to do this. He wants to go online. He wants to have this online persona and, and be a streamer and all this stuff. And he wants us to help out, and that's fine, cool. But I'm the only other person that seems interested in even doing this kind of stuff. Everybody else is like, oh, don't let me, don't have my voice, and don't mention my name. And just like, Frank doesn't get also that if he's going to be doing streaming, he is going to be a public persona. And in that, his legal protections on privacy are going to be limited. He still has some rights to privacy. All, all citizens in America have a certain right to privacy. But those, how far those rights extend uh, depend on whether you are a public or private citizen. At least that's my understanding. I could be completely wrong. I have a whole family of lawyers in my nuclear family, so maybe they could explain the situation better. But I swear, is this, a, is this a gray spot? Or is it just the way the light is hitting it? Talk about egotistical and vain. Oh, there's my big thing. I have a big mole on my forehead. Not really forehead, I guess this is the forehead. I have a mole on my head, but it, my hair usually hides it unless I point it out like that. All right, it's been five minutes. I'm pissed off. I'm ready to wind down for bed. This is Eric Spornitz, and tomorrow will be better. There's no way it's going to be worse. I'll get to kill some devil Joe.